In this video, we are going to be learning how to do banner grabbing with Netcat. Banner grabbing means to connect to a network service to get the initial response. This initial response is called banner. This banner can include details about the software version, operating system, and sometimes even specific configuration settings. It is useful for identifying vulnerabilities or simply mapping out the service running on a network. If you are a hacker, you can use the information that you get from the banner to identify vulnerability and plan out your attack and the reason that we're going to be using netcat for this banner grabbing process is because netcat is a versatile networking tool that can read and write data across the network connection using tcp or udp so let's learn how to do banner grabbing with netcat i'm in my kali linux right now i will first open the terminal and scan the services of a vulnerable machine running on my network i can do this with nmap so the command for me is sudo nmap space dash p dash because i want to scan all the ports space the ip address of the machine that you want to scan which for me is 192.168.1.44 and after the scanning is completed i can see the open ports with the services running but i want to know the additional details of the services that are running this default in map scan does not give me the additional details so that's where banner grabbing with netcat can help us so suppose if i want to know the additional details of the ftp service which is running on port 21 what will i do is type nc which is short for netcat space the ip address of the server which is 192.168.1.44 space the port number which the FTP was running on port 21 and press enter. And with this output, I can see the exact version of the FTP service is VS FTPD 2.3.4. Now a hacker can use this exact version of service to find if this service is vulnerable or not. So I will give you an example. I will use search exploit to see if this version is vulnerable or not. So type the command search exploit space VS FTPD and press enter. And I can see VS FTPD 2.3.4 is indeed vulnerable to backdoor command execution. So this is how banner grabbing with netcat can help you to gather information. I will show you some more examples. So suppose if I want to know the additional details of the SSH service that is running on the vulnerable machine, then I will type netcat, the IP address and the port number of SSH, which by default is 22 and press enter. I can see this is the exact version of SSH that is running. Now let's see the additional details of a HTTP service. So similarly type netcat, the IP address and the default port of the HTTP which is 80 and press enter. Now some services like HTTP requires you to send additional request. So I will type HTTP forward slash 1.1 and response code 200 and press enter. With this output, I can understand that not only the server is running Apache, but the exact version of the Apache that it is running. I can use this information further in my penetration testing. So that is for the end of the video. This is how to grab banners with Netcat. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.